The popularity of subcompact models in Russia cannot be called high, but this hatchback has a rather successful market fate. How did he seduce our compatriots? Maybe the Fiesta does not shine with the stunning design, but it is distinguished by a calm, timeless appearance and quality factor and quality characteristic of German cars. In addition, inside the machine is much more spacious than it seems from the outside, it has good handling, which is also important when choosing the only car in the family. The Ford Fiesta was equipped with four-cylinder gasoline engines of 1.3 liters, 60 and 70 horsepower, until 2004, 58 and 68 horsepower, respectively, 1.4 liters, 80 horsepower, and 1.6 L, 100 horsepower, as well as a 1.4 liter turbo diesel with a capacity of 68 horsepower. As usual, we did not sell diesel modifications. These versions, as a rule, were brought from abroad. And among gasoline engines, the 1.4 liter engine is considered optimal. There were three types of gearboxes, a five-speed mechanics, a four-band automatic and a robotic manual gearbox. The linkers did everything so that there was no shortage of interior space in the cabin. The compact Ford has a fairly high seating position in both the front and rear seats, which is not always convenient for tall drivers. In the driver's seat, by the way, only the pillow is adjustable in height and the back remains motionless. The main ergonomic blunder is the lack of a platform for resting the left leg. The seat heating buttons are also inconveniently located, at the end of the pillows, where they are not visible at all. As for the Ford Fiesta, the basic version was not particularly generous. It included ABS, power steering, frontal airbags, European versions have four. The Ambiente variant additionally had power front windows and central locking. A richer version of the trend added fog lights and heated side electric mirrors to the list. Options Gear could boast of air conditioning, but only for this version an extensive list of additional equipment was offered. And in general, there are few empty cars on the secondary. Mostly common options with electric front windows, radio, and air conditioning. Despite its modest dimensions, the Fiesta is not a childishly strong car. For example, engines are unpretentious, but when refueling, it should be remembered that due to low-quality fuel with the high content of iron and tar, spark plugs fail prematurely, from 600 rubles a set. If you often fill the tank with gasoline at dubious gas stations, the valves can hang in their guides, otherwise it is already fraught with costly repairs, from 15,000 rubles, or the need to replace the blockhead, from 35,000 rubles. On the official service you will be charged one and a half times more. 1.4 and 1.6 liter engines with the timing belt drive, and the valves are not equipped with hydraulic compensators and are regulated by washers, from 2,000 rubles, after 100,000 kilometers. Moreover, according to the regulations, the timing belt is replaced after 160,000 kilometers, although in Russian operating conditions it is desirable to reduce this period by one and a half times. The 1.3L motor is equipped with a durable chain. In manual transmissions, after three to four years of service, the input shaft oil seal may begin to leak. The part itself costs a penny, but the replacement will cost about 40 hundred to 50 hundred rubles, since for this the gearbox and engine should be hung out. The Durashift robotic box in loaded modes, long uphill driving, traffic jams, is prone to overheating, as can be seen from the responsive brake pedal. True, the performance of the gearbox is fully restored after the clutch mechanism cools down. The box is also sensitive to failures in electrical circuits, Sometimes because of this, the engine does not even start. But Durashift lends itself perfectly to the diagnosis and reconfiguration of the transmission control module. In the slang of mechanics it is clutch calibration. The suspension is quite strong and needs to be repaired after 100,000 kilometers, when you have to update the hub bearings, 4,200 rubles, front shock absorbers, 10,000 rubles, tie rod ends, from 1,200 rubles, and levers. Body. Prices for native parts bite. True, the number of offers of non-original spare parts is large. The rear suspension, with proper operation and timely service, easily nurses 100,000 kilometers or more. And repairs, which usually come down to replacing silent blocks, are inexpensive, about 2,500 to 3,600 rubles, including the cost of work. Engines all petrol engines of the Duratec series willingly digest the 90-second gasoline, in general they are unpretentious and durable. We do not recommend choosing the 1.3 liter version, it is noisy and weak, and fuel consumption is the same as that of more powerful counterparts. 
Gearboxes. If you want a car with an automatic, you will have to choose between a bunch of 1.6 liter engine with an automatic transmission or a version with an 80 horsepower 1.4 liter engine paired with a DuraShift robotic box. In our opinion, this is not the best choice. The robot suffers from thoughtfulness, and in traffic jams it also overheats. The suspension is simple in design, in front, McPherson struts, in the back, a semi-independent beam. But handling is good thanks to the optimal chassis tuning, which Ford engineers know a lot about.